You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the number one station for independent artists. Yes, that's uh, China Blue with Silence. 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 I wonder why it was called that. Silence. Uh, good question. I mean, there's a lot going on in there to be silent. Right, 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 right. I mean, even, Dan, what were you saying before about the song? The, that was a cool little groove at the end, how huh? switched up. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. Up the like a little jazz sound, and oh man, it was it was. <laughs> we had some creative. It was definitely songs. a rhythm of the coast type thing. You know? I agree. It reminded me of Ron Burgundy. Ron, <laughs> Ron, playing the jazz flute. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Burgundy, <laughs> Mr. Ron, oh, Ron Burgundy <laughs> reference. Yep, absolutely. I agree. Who was to go first on that one? I will go ahead and share with the world my opinion on this song, okay? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and light it up for this song, okay. Silence. Yes, I'm very excited because yes. I was like, Missy, don't ruin it for this guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> this I gal. liked like, it. Oh, I liked man, it. this is a good song. I okay. did like it. Um, okay. It was definitely a good vibe. Um, I don't think that the auto tune was like too overdone because I, yeah. I I noticed it and I'm like okay where where is this going and I'm like I thought it was very subtle like I didn't think that it was too overpowering so I really enjoyed that. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, that was. You want to go? You want to go, Dean? Oh, I gave my input. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you did. You did. Um, he lit it up. He lit mm-hmm. it up. Yes. 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 I have to agree. I thought it was really good. Um. I'm trying to find the name of the artist. Here it is, yeah. The China Blue. That's The China Blue. Interesting name. The, the China Blue. The name of the song is called Silence. I have to agree. I'm lighting it up, too. The reason why I'm lighting it up is because I really like the jazz transition at the end of the song. This song mm-hmm. was kind of jazzy anyway, mm-hmm. but they really kind of focused on it towards the tail end. And I just thought it was su- super cool. I like how this artist took the time to appreciate the instrumentation in the music and let that, mm-hmm. you know, drive it besides their voice. And it was heavy auto tune, but it was like not too heavy. I think it exactly. was appropriate. It, it worked. I agree. I don't think it was overpowering. Yeah, at it, it, all, it which worked. Which it can be. It can be. So they did a good job of mixing and mastering that in there because I can just bet being in the studio, it was just all over the place. Because he's singing kind of loud, you know, so, mm-hmm. you know. But a hey, goes into rotation. Goes into rotation. It goes into rotation. It's yeah, in the rotation. It's in rotation <laughs> until somebody just eh, they dislike it enough to it gets out of rotation. It's in rotation. It's in rotation we, right now. Because we lit it up. Because we lit it up. Because <laughs> we right. lit it up. So I want to hear more <laughs> from uh, China Blue, and hey, it's all good see, for me. See what else? Good for see me. What so else we, there is. we got another uh, fifteen minutes. What you got, Missy? I have a trending topic of. Jojo Siwa. Are you guys familiar with this dance mom alum? Jojo. She's a young influencer um, who's a dancer, and she made her her career off of a reality dancing TV show a few years ago, and she just shot to fame since then. And she's like an icon to a bunch of young children and she's really trying to do a lot she actually recently came out as lgbtq um a member of the community earlier this year as a young 18 year old she's 18 Mm -hmm. she's 18 and she is actually making history on dancing with the stars she's gonna be on dancing with the stars and she had the option of because she came out as a community member of the LGBTQ community, they gave her the option of if she wanted to have a male dance partner or a female dance partner, and she went for the female dance partner, and this is the first time that the show is going to have the same sex as um, for partners on the show to dance. Wow. Yeah. That's... um. That, that's uh, big for that show. It's really big for the show. Yeah. And, and I think it's really interesting the fact that it didn't come from her or her people. It was not her idea oh, okay. as a young so, as a young woman. It was the show's idea. So it, the show is the one that says, we're going to part- partner you up with a female. The show gave her the option saying, would you like a, a male dance partner or would you prefer a oh, female dance partner? This is the first time we're ever going to try something like this. We thought we would bring it to you since you recently came out. And 
she went for it. She le- immediately was like, yes, oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, this is going to show people around the world that it's okay to t- just be yourself and yada yada. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited to see them dance. She's she's a professional dancer in herself anyways. I mean, isn't that unfair, though, as far as professional dancers? They always make it to, like, the, the bottom three, at least. Well, I think that it's more of a popularity contest than on who's more skilled in dancing anyways. Well, let me ask you a question because I do, I have watched the show before. So don't they have to judge you and if the judges give you the highest score, you stay in? Oh, I have never watched the show. (laughs) (laughs) That was good. (laughs) (laughs) We keep it real over here. Uh, We don't lie about nothing. I might. (laughs) Missy's talking about stuff that she don't even watch. So that's crazy. I'm definitely going to be watching her dances when they come out like on YouTube and stuff, because I yes, I don't think I don't know if I'll watch the show, but I'll definitely want to see the choreograph. Yeah, choreograph that will dances. be interesting to see. Um, from my understanding, there's three judges, and they are very, um, they judge very harshly, very harshly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know they give you like a you know obviously zero to ten or one to ten or whatnot. Right. And then 